Well, hello there everyone. Today marks the official start of my season four of my garden and I wanted to show you what I'm growing this year and show you how I start my seeds. So let's check it out. Here's my seed haul for the year. I got all these and I got some herbs over here. And I actually picked these all up at Kmart. They were having a 40% off sale, but it wasn't a true sale because as you can see here, these prices are definitely marked up. Uh, Walmart probably had these same seeds for like a dollar fifty or so, but with the 40% off, these were actually turned out to be cheaper than Walmart. So we'll quickly go through here and I'll show you all the stuff that I got. Okay, we'll start with the tomatoes. Uh, these are the tomatoes that I got for BLTs and stuff like that. These are the red summer hybrids. And I got these instead of beefsteaks because I didn't have very good luck with beefsteaks last year. And then moving over, we got the aromas. These I'm going to use to make tons of sauce. Hopefully I'm gonna plant a bunch of these. Ideal for cannings and sauces and I can attest to that. Then next we got the sweet peppers. These are something I love putting in salads and I love growing these every year. So that's gonna be great. And then I got a big, big pack of these Garden beans, I'm going to have like a little section for the beans. And I'm, I'm pretty stoked about hopefully having some nice beans this year. Then we got some uh, beets, which will go well with my eggs that I am always getting every day. And then we move down here, I got spinach and lettuce, which you're going to see today that I'm going to start some of these in uh, recycling containers just to get it going and hopefully have some lettuce fairly soon. Then we got California Wonder. These are just sweet peppers or, you know, like green bell peppers and things like that, which are great. I got sugar snap peas. These are a favorite of the chickens. They enjoyed these last year and I thought they were pretty tasty. Next is uh, cucumbers. I'm not a big cucumber fan, but uh, Cody likes them and they're basically worth a dollar a piece, which a lot of these uh, vegetables are, so it's definitely worth growing. Uh, the sweet corn. If you've been watching my channel in the past few years, you know me and sweet corn don't really go well together. I can never seem to grow it. And last year when things started to go well, it seemed like uh, something came along and ate all the corn out of the garden. So that kind of sucked, but I'm going to try my hand at it again this year. I'm going to try to grow it inside first, then transplant it. Next we got carrots. And uh, we got some fruits. I'm going to maybe try to like make a little section where you have cantaloupe and I got watermelon, which should be really good. And then a uh, little surprise here, we got pumpkin. That's gonna be pretty fun and I'm hoping to be able to grow some pumpkins and maybe sell them alongside the road for a dollar a piece or something like that. And then finally, you probably saw that I got some herbs. Cody has some herbs growing inside and I always replant them each year. So we got rosemary, sweet basil, we got Genovese basil, parsley, and thyme. So that is my entire seed haul for this year, and I'm next going to show you how to start some of these. We're going to be starting the tomatoes, the peppers, and I'm going to be planting the lettuce. The rest of these are either going to go right into the garden or I'm going to start them a little bit later because I've made the mistakes of starting like cantaloupe and watermelon too soon last year and it did not go well for me. Here's all the stuff that I'll be using today, and I'll show you what you're going to need. First of all, the seeds. You're going to need those, of course. Uh, today we're going to be doing the peppers and the tomatoes. That's what I'm getting started pretty early here in the season. These need about eight weeks before you put them outside. And then this is what I end up putting the peppers into. Um, I have three of these and I reuse them every year, but I'm probably not going to use them all today. It's hard to say. just depends how many seeds I have and how much I want to do. And I have an audience here today, of course. <laughs> but uh, in addition to that, I also have these cups that I put the tomato seeds into because the tomato plants are going to grow kind of big. And you're going to want to allow some space for them to grow as they grow inside. And then uh, this is my first time using this. This is... Uh, miracle Grow Moisture Control Potting Mix. I usually use garden soil, but this was on sale and I, I picked it up. It seems like it's going to be something that's pretty good for starting seeds. They did have some seed starting mix uh, at Walmart where I picked this up, but it was way more expensive, so I'm just going to go with this. And then you're going to need a watering can and then a little shovel to get the soil out of the bag. And these items here are for labeling. You're going to want to know what peppers you have where. Uh, fortunately, I only have two different peppers, so maybe I'll just do one of each and do one label. But I have some... Okay, I have some markers here for that. This is just a ring of markers. I have a pen, and then I have my Swiss Army knife, which I'm gonna use as a pair of scissors to cut little labels out, which you can which you can see that I've already done here before. The first thing you're gonna do is take your dirt from the bag, and then you're gonna fill these cells about halfway, and then put some water in there and allow that to soak in a little bit to get the soil moist. You don't have to be too precise about it. You can be kind of generous with the soil. I kind of just top it off and level it all out. I put some water in here after I get these all filled up just to kind of allow the, the dirt to get it kind of moist because then you put your seeds in and the seeds don't get all washed away and moved out of place if you put your water in after. So I kind of recommend doing that. So uh, also do this outside because it makes a bit of a mess and you don't want your wife punching you in the face. As I mentioned earlier, the tomatoes are going to be going into cups like this. So what you're going to want to do with these 
I take a just a basic screwdriver and I poke holes in the bottom. That's going to allow for some drainage. You can just do like three or four holes. Nothing major. So you're going to put those in the bottom and then you're going to fill these up with dirt about halfway. You don't have to go too crazy, but these are going to get a little bit bigger than what the peppers are. So that's the first step of that and fill it with dirt. Second step, pretty simple. That's how mine looks right there. Uh, it's pretty generous. You don't necessarily need to use that much, but I have a lot of this soil and I'm not going to use it all. So we're going to do these up pretty well and you're going to do one of these for each tomato plant you want to grow. So I'm going to do quite a few of these right now. I'm all finished filling cups. I'll show you what I did here. The big cups actually ran out of fairly quickly. I only had 15 of these. So these are going to be my Romas. And then these small ones, I did 18 of these. And these are going to be just the regular tomatoes. I'm not planning to put this many in the ground, but I like to give them away to people. So I need some extra ones there. The Romas, I'm going to try to plant all those because those are all going to be converted into sauce. And I'd like to have as much sauce as humanly possible that I can jar up because that sauce last year was amazing. And I like to do more. And then we also, we also have the pepper... Uh, cells over there so next we're going to put some water in each of these just to allow them to soak a little bit next comes the fun part which is actually planting the seeds so we'll do that next now when you open your seeds, be very careful because they're just going to be inside here like this and you don't want to lose them. So what I do is just sprinkle them in my hand like this here. You can see how generous they are with these. Like this isn't even all that's in there and I'm only planting 15 cups. So I put like maybe two or three seeds in each, each uh, cup. That way you're guaranteed for something to grow inside there and then you can just pick them out if there's more than one. So just take your couple seeds, you put them on your fingers there and just poke them right down through with your finger. Easy as that, and then you just make sure there's some dirt over it. And you're going to do that 15 times. Instructions say a quarter inch deep, but you don't have to be too particular. These things are going to grow no matter what. Just put them in there the best you can. You'll do the same thing for the other tomatoes. They're going to go into the cups just like the Romas did. With these red summer hybrids, they weren't nearly as generous with the seeds, so I'm going to be very careful in only putting one seed into each cup because I don't have too many to spare. I may not even have enough for all my cups. So I'm just going to continue putting these through here. And... Hopefully they all grow. Worked out really well. I had just enough to cover each cup. So 18 seeds in a pack. And here's the sweet peppers. These are going to be going into these little cells. And as you can see, they gave me lots of these. So I'm going to be pretty generous with putting these in here. Maybe two per, just to make sure we got something inside of each one of them. I find the best just to already do the holes in advance. That way you can just put the seeds in two at a time. Works really well that way. Now all my seeds are in, and this is where your labeling is going to come into play. I just marked bell on this since these are all bell peppers in here. Just put that right in one of the front spots here so I can tell these apart. And I'll know that these are the bells and then these are going to be the sweets. So I'm going to do the same thing again and that's going to be it for planting the seeds. I'm all finished up with that. Believe it or not, they didn't even give me enough seeds to fill all the cells. I was about three short. So next I did my little marking and this is marked sweet for the sweet banana peppers. And I'll put that in the front right there. And now they're, they're both labeled. That was really easy. I know that these are the Romas because they're in the big ones. And I know that these are the summer hybrids. So next we'll take these inside and I'll show you where I keep them until they're ready to be put into the garden. I'm out here in our sun porch. This area gets blasted by sun all day. All these windows, these are all south facing. And it gets really toasty out here and it's very hot out here right now. So it's a perfect place to put your seeds when you're starting to grow them. I have this on the south facing wall. And as you can see, I've got the Romas. I've got the summer hybrids. These are the bell and those are the sweet and hopefully sitting here and have that sun blasting all day. As you can see, it kind of goes over this way and then it kind of goes out this way in the uh, in afternoon. And this is the west side, which is where I had them last year. But I'm going to try this side. I think the south is going to be good for an all day exposure. So hopefully these do pretty well here. And here's my usual setup for the lettuce and spinach. This one has lettuce. This one has spinach. And I leave these out during the day to warm up. This is just dirt from the compost pile and I put the seeds in there. So they stay out during the day and then at night I bring them in so they don't get frost and this allows me to grow some lettuce and spinach very early in the year. Thanks for watching my first video of my fourth season of gardening. I think this year is going to be the best one yet. I've got some new plans on how I'm going to lay the garden out and just the things I'm growing. I'm really excited about seeing how everything turns out. I'm going to try to get really passionate about it this year and I'm going to definitely keep you updated on all the stuff that I'm growing and how things are progressing and I think it's just really fun to to upload these things and have you along for the experience because I think growing your own food is something that's very valuable and I think more people should do it. So if you can learn something from these videos that would be great but if not hopefully it's just entertaining so thanks for watching and i will have another video up here soon